Now, we have unveiled this week a series of new initiatives which harmonize in terms of our vision, our dream facts. There is a clear seamless connection between our college, our community, our future. These brochures were on the chairs when you, when you came in, which you would see inside a four, five brand new initiatives, all of which are our programmatic expression of building a community, contributing to community in the sense of reciprocity and doing things together. You may recognize between the lines inside of that modest brochure a philosophy, a dream. It is actually what Dr. Katie, Dr. Martin Luther King, Frank Dunn, when he talked about the love of the community. The love of the community is premised in the realization that we are bound together in absolute ways in a network of mutuality. But I think that this particular college is poised to do is to give you evidence of the dream as being something that is attainable and achievable molecule by molecule, human being by human being. Please do take that picture with you. Please do look at the programs and read between the lines to sense the spirit. And on the back, you would see what is our own compass, a compass which is phrased, phrased a little bit differently than the compass, the aspiration that you find in the visions, in the expressions of strategic planning at all the private and public institutions in Western New York. That dream, that commitment, that aspiration that all of us, that this particular institution in particular ways can be known as, will be known as the leader in preparing learners for career success, that long commitment to a civic and sustainable, sustainable Buffalo region and the world. In head and heart, this is very ambitious. I know we can make a difference. I can conclude with a few observations about the presidency. I heard a profound presentation at a seminar that focused on the idea of the presidency. When the residents don't succeed, there of course is that internal need and that on the street gossiping me to understand exactly why so and so, so and so, and so failed. But this particular presentation was profound because it focused on the presidency as an idea, the presidency as an intersection. So let us say that the college, this particular college, is a crossroad of interest. Students, trustees, all the voting categories, communities, and the presidency, when it succeeds, is the discernment of a recognition of the connectedness among all of them. Let us say that our college is a knowing expression of this mutuality across all of its domains from the community to all of its campuses. And this is how the community secures its future with a knowing that it enacts. All you see is the crest on the front of the podium. The idea of the college at this particular moment. If I've been successful, I've blurred distinction between campus and off campus, between the classroom and the community. 
if I would be successful at all in these remarks, that I hope that you see it needed in a seamless fashion for our college, our community, and our future. By my own definition, this presidency is off to a promising start. I brought you my very modest gifts, and I'd like to complete them. I brought you my very modest gifts, and you have vastly multiplied, and you've led a person to something much more than I could have ever dreamed of on my own. So I can assure you that the last 10 months of this wonderful experience, I hope for me, are the promise and the guarantee that the next 10 years will be as wonderful, important, and stimulating for this institution. Thank you for coming this afternoon.